Okay, so today I'm getting my lip washing done. I'm super nervous because I have a really low pain tolerance. So yes, fingers crossed this doesn't go as bad as I think it's gonna go. Um, but yeah, lip washing is essentially just a lip tattoo. Um, for those who have like pigmented lips like this or you just want a different color on your lips in general. Hi, I just wanted to briefly interrupt my introduction there. This is me the morning of my lip blushing appointment. I had a full face of makeup on and you are not allowed to wear makeup um, around your lips at least when you go in for your lip blushing appointment. So in the following clips after this, you will see that my makeup is all gone and I have under eye concealer, mascara, and I, my eyebrows are filled in. Um, that's pretty much it. But for these clips, I just wanted to show what my natural lips looked like when I'm wearing a full face of makeup. So I just took a cotton round and some micellar water and uh, took off my lipstick. So as you can see, my natural lips are pretty pigmented. The top lip is dark brown and the bottom lip is pink with brown lining the bottom half. Um, kind of like a cool lip liner effect, but this is something that I've always been kind of insecure about. I just didn't like the severe contrast and colors of my lips and my face. It also made applying lipstick a bit difficult because the colors never showed up properly on my lips due to how pigmented they were. But having pigmented lips in general is completely normal, especially for people of color. We were just blessed with that extra melanin and it was just my personal preference to tattoo my lips and kind of get them neutralized a little bit. This is probably the only beauty treatment involving needles that I will ever do. So hopefully you enjoyed the rest of this video and let's get on with the lip blushing. I just kind of wanted a one all over color so that's why I'm getting it done. I've always been curious about it anyway, so Ugh, fingers crossed, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Comfort. Mm -mm. It's hard, I look lovely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm doing real good. I can't feel anything. Good. <laughs> That's so pretty. So your lips are, they're definitely starting to dry already. Dry? Yeah, it's normal. So uh -huh. your lips are gonna kinda like look a little like, some areas are gonna look a little bit more pigmented than others. Uh -huh. Others. That's because your skin basically has all these little tiny tears inside of them. Uh -huh. Okay, that's normal. Okay. okay. So just kinda let them be. Uh -huh. I just put some aquaphor on your lips. Uh -huh. Let them heal. They're gonna probably go through a healing process since they're already drying already. Uh -huh. I'm gonna give you some aquaphor to take home. Uh -huh. um, and then keep your lips dry as much as you can for the next 24 hours as far as like whatever you eat trying to keep it um like dry foods try not to do anything soupy or if not sooner like the healing process yeah sometimes people will, it'll be a little bit longer just depending on how quickly your body heals mm -hmm. but again everyone's healing process is a little different but typically it's about seven days and then you should be back to normal let me get you some off before to take with you thank you you're welcome you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, so this is 10 minutes after I got my lips blushed. Um, it's a little swollen and um, it's a little sore and stingy, but it's not too bad. It's manageable. She like smothered um, Aquaphor on my lips to heal it. Um, I asked her actually why, because every time I watched videos on lip blushing, they always outlined it with like a white lip liner or something. And she said my lips were already really defined that she really didn't need to do that. So she just free balled it and she did a fantastic job. I love the color so far. I know it's gonna change. She told me it'll change as it heals. It's gonna change colors, it's gonna flake off and things like that. So at the moment I love this color, but let's see what it turns into when it heals. I'm excited to see what the finish, like the final, final result's gonna be. Okay, so it's been seven hours since I got my lips blushed. And the swelling uh, has definitely gone down. Um, and I can definitely move it more a little bit because I couldn't smile before. So I can, <laughs> I can kind of smile now. It still feels tight. Uh, my lips still feel tight. 
Okay, so it is 9.30 now, so it's been about nine and a half hours since um, I got the lip blushing done. And um, the swelling has gone almost down. It's almost my normal lip size, but still a little more to go. And my lips still feel tight. Um, they don't really hurt, it's just uncomfortable and tight and dry feeling, I guess. My lips feel okay, they're just uncomfortable. So hopefully tomorrow will be better. I'll check back in tomorrow. Okay, so this is day two of my lip blushing. Um, the swelling, I think, has pretty much gone down. I think it's completely gone down. I can't even really tell. Um, there's no, I have no pain. I just feel a little bit uncomfortable. Like, um, it feels tight. So, like, I'm just, I can smile. <laughs> I can smile now, but... Um, yeah, it just feels a little tight on my lips. Kind of like if you ever had a mask on your on your face um, and it just kind of feels tight and you can't really, it's hard to move. It's kind of like that on my lips. So, but in general, I love the way it looks. It's healing. You can kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see I'm in the car, if you can put the light on. Kind of splotchy in some areas, but she said that's how it heals. So day three of getting my lips blushed um as you can see it's starting to peel but it's not swollen anymore and it doesn't hurt but and it's not as tight like i can kind of move, <laughs> move my lips more but it's definitely really dry and you can see that it's really chapped and it's starting to peel and it's taking all my energy not to just like bite it off you can kind of see it the dead skin is healing up so oh god yeah, I didn't put aqua for it yet. I just wanted to show you what it looked like when it was dry. And it is really dry and chapped and peeling, but day three. Okay, so this is three or four days after my lip blushing. A lot of it is flaked off already and I'm getting a cold sore. So I think that's normal if you're prone to cold sores. I've had about two cold sores in my life, so maybe it might be kind of normal. But yeah, a lot of it is peeled. I had chunks peeling. So this is the remainder of it. It almost looks like the color is all gone, but I think it's supposed to like come back later, but we'll see, keep you updated. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for the next few clips because clearly I got a cold sore and it was disgusting and I was very upset about it. So yeah, I got a very painful cold sore, the top of my lip and the bottom as well. And oh God, so disgusting. It was so painful. My lips were swollen for a few days. They crusted over as well. Now I've had cold sores in the past, which is why I got the cold sore after my lip blushing. So if you are prone to them, you will get them after a lip blushing appointment because of the trauma from the needle um, kind of poking and scratching on your skin. If you've never had a cold sore, you most likely won't get them. But if you have, um, just kind of clear your schedule for any social engagements because if you get them, you just want to lay low and get this treated before you move on. So it was only a couple weeks. It wasn't terrible, but still not fun. Okay, so today is my lip blushing touch up. I was supposed to do it last month, which would have been like four weeks after the original, but I had to go out of town last minute and then she was out of town um, on vacation. So we're doing it now. So today is March 5th, I think. So it's about two months after, but this is what my lips look like two months after, um, like when I originally got it done. I love what it looks like right now already. So she's gonna do another layer, I guess, because my lips were pretty dark. So it just kind of covers more, but yeah. I will update you when I get inside. Thank you. Yeah, it turned out really good. Okay. Well, how long is this supposed to last? This will last you, this should last you at least a year. Okay. Because it's so like light and because we are dealing with pigmentation issues. Mm -hmm. So you might need a touch up sooner than that. It just all depends. It depends okay. on what you put on your lips. And remember, our lips are constantly exfoliating, okay? Mm -hmm. So the likelihood of needing a touch up sooner than later is more likely than not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what do you say? Okay, so these are my lips immediately after the touch up, and you can see that my bottom lip is kind of the same but the top lip is definitely swollen. So I guess we'll see in the next few days. Like, well, it sh the swelling should go down in a couple hours, 
but the colors kind of peel and fade off within the next two, three days. So after that, it would take like a few weeks for the actual color to pop through my lips and show through. So we'll see what that looks like, but this is what it looks like right now. So I just realized I haven't filmed an update video since I got my lip washing touch up and it's been exactly one week. So this is what it looks like right now, exactly a week later. So the there's no more peeling and it's just like my regular lip color now, but I think it'll take like three to four weeks for like the, like the touch up lip color to come through. So we'll get a little bit of time. Okay, so major update. <laughs> it's now November 23rd, so I just wanted to show what the lips, what my lips look like after, now it's been like eight months since I got it done. So these are my lips now, close to the light so you can see. But yeah. <laughs> They're definitely, you know, still have the pigmentation thing going on but not as much as it used to be um so nothing's on my lips you can see that it's just aquaphor and so once again i have the same amount of makeup that i was wearing last time i have under eye concealer my eyebrows filled in and mascara and that's it nothing else on my skin i just wanted to show like on bare skin like natural faced what or pretty natural faced what my lips look like. So I would love to go for like another round. Ooh, this one's coming out. Um, and get another layer. I feel like in this lighting, it looks more pink um, than regular. You can kind of see the more darker it is. So, so yeah, I, I think I personally, with the level of color that I want on my lips, I think that I would go for another round. I will possibly do that here in London. Um, I did find a couple places that will do lip blushing um, and they're relatively affordable. So I'm gonna just kind of wait until after the holidays are over. And I'll probably wait until after my birthday is over too. Cause I, just in case that like ridiculous cold sore thing comes back, um, I don't wanna risk ruining the holidays and then ruining my birthday. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. But that's my update so far. So my opinion on lip blushing, if you're trying to cover up pigmented lips, if you're trying to, um, or just add a color to your lips, I highly recommend lip blushing. I really love it. Um, it's probably one of the only kind of beauty treatments involving a needle that I would do. I'm not like a Botox filler kind of girl. So I think that I would do lip blushing again because I do want to add more color to the lips. And just keep in mind that everyone's lips take ink differently. So, you might need a couple of rounds, you might just need one round. It just depends on your lips and the amount of pigmentation you have and which color you're trying to um, put on your skin. So yeah, I will link Natalie's information um, in the description box. And if I do find someone in London, I will link that and I will do a whole video on that as well. So that was my lip blushing update for now. Hopefully you all found this informational. If you have any questions, feel free to put it down in the comments below. And yeah, if you try lip blushing, let me know. Let me know if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next video.